So it's looking like another drab weekend without any Wheel of Time Season 2 news. I guess we'll have to analyze the carpentry for the chairs from Season 1. Wait, what's this? We have a breaking news alert. This just in, after I already recorded another version of this video, it looks like we have a release date for Season 2. And a bunch of other new Wheel of Time stuff to talk about. Stay tuned for more. Well, folks, it looks like we finally have some news to talk about. It's been a bit more than two weeks since I released a video asking this question. When would we see Season 2 of Amazon's Wheel of Time adaptation? And it's looking like we might have an answer, kind of. Today on the weekly Wheel of Time news, we'll cover the season two release date, some casting news surrounding season two, the recent CCXP convention in Brazil, and some other information surrounding that. We also have a bunch of season three information to take a look at, including some dates for the start of filming. And we'll talk about the potential plot for season three. We've got some interesting reveals from Rafe Judkins, the showrunner from the Wheel of Time, about some of the creative choices from season one. And finally, we've got some community news to discuss. So there's tons to talk about, all of that and more on this week's weekly Wheel of Time news. I wanted to also mention before we hop into the news that I'm going to be changing my spoiler warning system. Most of you are used to a, a warning section at the beginning of the video. Instead of that, I'm gonna have a icon on the screen that will indicate the spoiler levels for what I'm currently talking about. That way you can watch the video up until you see a red icon and then you know to be careful. Also, please take a second and smash that like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you want more Wheel of Time and fantasy related content. But let's get into the news. So literally as I was finishing recording my news video for last week, I saw an article come through and I decided to not only re-record it, but also rewrite the episode. It's looking like we might have a release date for season two, and it corresponds with what I predicted a couple weeks back. In an article of The Telegraph, uh, speaking about Amazon Prime Video's upcoming releases that have been announced at Comic-Con in Delhi, which is taking place as we speak or just finished, they are reporting that season two of The Wheel of Time will be released in early 2023. Now, you're like, what the heck, Nablus? That's not a release date. And to that, I would say you are right. <laughs> it is, however, a very pointed time frame and one that corresponds with the gap in their release schedule that we spoke about a few weeks back. I would also like to add that it's very possible that we could see an exact release date given by Amazon even before this video goes live. The Telegraph is a very real news publication. It's not one of the normal clickbait online blogs. So that does give a bit of weight to this date and they actually announced concrete dates for many of the other shows from Amazon Prime. All of that being said, it's still not confirmed as of the recording of this video. Uh, so it's possible their information is incorrect. But as I said, it does nicely fit in the window right after Carnival Row and before Good Omens that comes in the summer of 2023. So the announcement is certainly plausible. According to some reporting from Wattseries.com, my favorite group of Wheel of Time news sleuths, as late as November 18th of this year, one of the VFX companies working on the Wheel of Time post-production was looking for some more people to add to the project. Now this tells me a couple of things. First, post-production is still happening. So that means they're still working on finishing season two. Second, it means they're up against the deadline and they need more people. Until we get an announcement directly from Amazon, the tweeter of chaos takes to, to Twitter or whatever other platform and tells us the exact date. I won't say for sure that this is going to be the date that we're going to see it in March, but I think it's very plausible. And again, The Telegraph is a very real news publication and this was part of a larger press release. So there is likely some truth to it. I'm going to have that article linked in the description of this video for you to take a look at and you let me know what you think. So in the lead up to season two, we've gotten quick glimpses, short teasers, and interviews with the cast. In all of that, we've yet to see Alexandra Willems, Tom Marilyn in season two, prompting many, myself included, to question whether we're going to see him in season two. There are many other characters that we know will be in this season that we have yet to see or have any confirmation of whatsoever, so it would not be surprising to me if he were a part of the season, even if we had heard nothing. Well... Thanks to some reporting from Geeky Eerie over at wattseries.com, 
we have an answer to this question. On the Mighty Dragon podcast, Willem was quoted as saying, The Wheel of Time. I'm not in season two because my character Tom Marilyn is not in for season two. But he should be in for season three, so I hope that. Now, in the books, Tom has small parts in books two and three, playing both companion to Rand and Matt for short parts of the books. After being found alive in book two, after his presumed death in the first book of the series. The show, like the books, left Tom's fate ambiguous as to whether or not he survived the attack from the Fade or not. I think it's a bit disappointing that we won't see Tom in season two. I actually liked Willem's take on the character and I would have liked to have seen him become a series regular, but I am happy to hear that he will be back for season three. I'm hoping that he does actually become a series regular at that point. Speaking of season three, we have a little bit of news in that arena to discuss. Again, thanks to Geeky Eerie over at WattSeries.com, there is some information to discuss that she has dug up about season three. Now, I'm going to have that article linked in the description of the video, so make sure to go and read that for more details, but I'll hit the high points here. We'll start with the writer's room. As Rave Judkins pointed out on Twitter, and as I mentioned in my last news video, Writing has started on season three of the show. Season three was greenlit way back in July of this year, and the writer's room appears to be in London getting that done right now. Sarah Nakamura, the book consultant for the show, has relocated to London to consult for season three, and writers Amanda Kate Schumann, who's from season one and two, Justine Joel Gilmer, Dave Hill, Catherine McKenna, and Rami Park are also joining them for the writer's room. Now, also joining the writer's room for season three this year is Ajoke Ibranake, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, who has written for Doctor Who, Beverly Okio from Them, Isabella Whiteman from House of the Dragon and the Nevers, and finally, Maximilian Fisher. As for the filming locations, it appears that filming will still be happening in Prague, where Jordan Studios is located. The Czech Republic recently ended their film credit program that gave a ton of money to the show to film there. So there was some speculation as to whether or not they were gonna move away from the enormous property that they built out that they are calling Jordan Studios, which is in Prague, but it appears that they're still going to film there going forward. Rafe actually mentioned that he would be back in Prague for some work on season three in his tweet. Now, according to Erie, it's possible that season three might be see some more filming in Morocco, as the Moroccan government is giving extremely high rebates in the same way that the Czech Republic was to attract the series. They did film a lot of season two in Morocco, so it's very possible they'll be back for season three. Additionally, based on Ayula Smart's cast biography for a production of Paradise Now that she's also been cast in, season three of The Wheel of Time is set to begin in early 2023. Now, for those that aren't aware, Ayula Smart is playing Avienda in season two of the show. So, again, if she's going to be back filming in early 2023, there you have it. Also, there have been some calls for some new production staff uh, for the show, mentioning starting in March of 2023. So that would seem to confirm that time frame. As for the plot of season three, we don't know much other than Rafe has said that it would more closely follow The Shadow Rising than the other two seasons would, and it'll be a bit more faithful adaptation of the book in a more literal sense. Now, we don't know to what level that will be true. I'm still going to be an adaptation, but it seems they are out to try and hit on all the main plot lines from book four. That would mean the Battle of the Two Rivers, which I have a video collaboration on with Lauren from Unraveling the Pattern that you can watch by clicking up here somewhere. It would also mean the Aeol Waste and possibly Tanchico and the Mogidian plotline. Now, The Shadow Rising is my favorite book of the series, so I am truly hoping that that is the case. Now, before moving on to some more Wheel of Time news, I want to mention a new sponsor for the channel that I think also has some great gift ideas for somebody in your life this holiday season. For those that know me, I rarely drink alcohol, but when I do, it is typically bourbon. My bourbon of choice has always been Woodford Reserve, but I am a fan of bourbon in general and I am always open to trying new types, which actually makes this video sponsor even cooler to me. Flaviar is a subscription spirit service that gives you multiple options to receive new bottles of your favorite spirit each month or a few, just a few a year, depending on how you wanna set up your subscription. They also do amazing special gifts like special time of the year type things like they do a bourbon advent calendar that has new alcohol to try each day of the season, including a really cool glass with it. The service is incredible. I've ordered myself a subscription as well as set up one of my family members with a subscription for Christmas. I won't say who because some of them might watch this video and I haven't gotten it yet, but this service will make a perfect gift for the person that loves spirits, that loves alcohol. Just click the link in the description of the video and check out Flaviar. You support the channel by doing so and you might just find a great gift idea. All right, 
Let's get back to the news. This past week, Amazon Prime Video was at the CCXP convention in Brazil, and the new Matt Cawthon actor Donald Finn, along with Elaine actress Kira Coveney and Leandrin actress Kate Fleetwood, were all in attendance. Now, it also appears they built a, I don't want to say life-size, but a two-scale version of the White Tower, Hall of the Tower display from the show. There, there doesn't appear to be any major news announced from the convention that we weren't already aware of, at least. But there were some interesting interviews. Amazon released a video clip summing up the week. So I'll play that for you here real fast so you can get an idea of what went down. It's amazing. Thank you for such a warm welcome. Yeah. As well. yeah, I was I was so excited when I found out that I was going up for the Wheel of Time. It's very exciting to be called in for one of these series because they can really become a major part of your life. It's a gift for an actor to be following a character for like such a long length of time and joining something like this, this elaborate, expansive world and massive arcs. That's what's the beauty of a long running series and such a long book series is that you can really develop the characters and you can really unearth the very many layers that each character has because they may seem to be one thing on the surface but there's a huge amount of other things going on underneath. The talent it took and the performances were just incredible and there's been such a warm response reception from the fans and I'm so excited for you to see season two. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Again, not much of note to discuss there, but it is cool to see how much excitement there is for the show all around the world. One of the biggest gripes that came from Wheel of Time fans in the first season was the Waygate and the way it was used by Moraine. It was channeled open, and then later we find out that Pod on Fane had followed, but with no explanation of how in the hell he did that. There was a leaked picture of Pod on Fane holding an Avendasora leaf, which is the way to activate the Waygates from the books, and that was seemingly was cut from the show. So Rafe was asked on Twitter as part of Dragon Mount's rewatch of the series about why that scene was cut, and Rafe answered. If I'd had my druthers, it would have been in the show, to help set up how the gates work for non-book fans. But it didn't make it sadly. The quest for breakneck pace and all. Still canon that Avendasora leaves can open and shut way gates, and we will see that one day on screen. So there we have it. it it's still canon. It's too bad these things had to be cut. I'm hoping we see this in season three as way gates again become very important then as they are very, very important on how they open and shut in the Shadow Rising. All right, so as many of you are aware, WatCon is coming back for 2023. Now, WatCon is a major Wheel of Time convention in Columbus, Ohio, and it was an amazing success last year. We had both virtual and in-person attendees, and we're expecting to max out the hotel capacity this year. This year's featured guests are Michael Kramer and Kate Redding, the audiobook readers for The Wheel of Time, and many other famous fantasy properties and other things. They're just awesome people, and they were a major hit last year at the convention. I ask for stories from somebody that went, you will not be disappointed. Also, Maria Simmons, Robert Jordan's assistant and owner of basically all of the knowledge and lore surrounding the story. She will also be a featured guest. We were honored to have her there last year, and she is returning again. And then this year, our new guest of honor is Michael Livingston, the author of Origins of the Wheel of Time, a new book chronicling the writing of the Wheel of Time, its influences, and some never-before-released information from the notes. You can check out WatCon to see if you'd like to be a part of the fun by heading to WatCon.com. Even if you don't know anybody, like if that's scaring you, like I don't know if I want to go, I don't have anybody to go with, this convention is still meant for you, and I guarantee you, you will come away with some new best friends. Like, guaranteed. It's set up so that you will meet people. It's set up for community. Ask anybody that went last time. Check out in the Discord server or join my Discord and ask people. It's worth it. It's fun. You'll love it. So for sure, come and check it out. All right. That is the Wheel of Time news for this week. What do you think of the news? Let me know in the comments of the video. Also, again, like the video and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I release new Wheel of Time content. If you want to support the channel and the content that I create here, check out my Patreon, where you can see that these fine people right here already support the channel and what I do. Thank you all so much. I could not do this without you. Lastly, check out this video here that you will for sure like if you like this one. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.